Good morning, and be mostly welcome to this uh, AIWF forum held for the first time in Paris. It's the first time in the Paris welcome such a high-level political and business Arab delegation comprised by very influential women coming from 22 countries. It is indeed a great honor and pleasure for me as chairman and on behalf of the board of the Arab International Women's Forum to welcome you this morning to our conference from Partnership to Prosperity, Women in the Arab World, France and the International Community. The economic development of the Mediterranean basin faces enormous challenges. And I would like to see how we can reach out between, for instance, the Arab countries and the Greater Paris uh, Investment Agency in order to, uh, to do better on this. I think there is a huge opportunity for cooperation, and this conference and this meeting can really help. The Arab woman has accomplished major milestones in the last few years, taking initiative and leadership in economic, social, cultural, and political fields. I'm happy to join you today. I thank the government of France, the Greater Paris uh, Investment uh, Agency. I have a message. I have to deliver it. And it's the message of social development. The important issues now is the economic empowerment of women. As you know uh, very well, strengthening the political uh, and economic relation between uh, France and the Arab world is one of the clear priorities of our President Nicolas Sarkozy. Do you know that uh, France uh, has uh, attracted 150 billion of FDR each year during uh, the last years for direct investment? Do you know that uh, France is the third target in the world? for foreign direct investment. We want really to develop the uh, investment from your uh, countries. It's really a, glad, a great honor to be here sitting in front of you and to have um, in front of me such a prestigious uh, leading woman assembly. It's really exciting. So I will stress several assets uh, which you can find in Paris. First of all, it can be said that it is a very uh, important comprehensive financial centers having all the needed services uh, that you as investors uh, certainly want to, to find. How we can work as a world, and I think Europe in specific with the Arab world, we are the back door of the, we are the market. Egypt is the largest consumer market in the region, so definitely. The Arab world has been progressively closing the gap between the status of men and women, although their status still varies from one country to another. Both men and women alike can manage wealth in a rather smart Manner. It has there are more opportunities on, I would say, on the high quality paper than uh, on the lower quality paper. I would like to pass the message to all the Arab uh, entrepreneurs uh, to follow the transparency, to follow the policies and procedures, to put all the processes into orders. This is a very important event for um, women from both sides here in France and various parts of the world with the Arab women uh, networking together, listening to each other. Women um, have a good opportunity, they have reached places and more is to come. The company is innovating in the solar system because uh, it's the future. So for me it's more interesting to be in France than in another country. I am in the pharmaceutical business, um, uh, especially um, pharmaceutical raw material. I have seen uh, uh, the ranking of the banks, for example, uh, in an objective way. You, you can learn and you, ha you have your uh, own vision and you are free to take the, your own decision. You 
uniquely today probably in Paris and our host uh, city uh, is sort of connecting Europe to the Arab region and vice versa. So it's, it's a very special opportunity. So thank you France and thank you Paris. It's, it's one of the uh, major cities of the world. So of course there is business to Paris. There will always be because Paris is an old city and and it's vibrant and uh, Paris will be always Paris, like I said, you know. We are really happy and it's very well organized, this conference, and we met a lot of people. And it adds to, to be in Paris, you can uh, interact with all the French people, understand, try to make it closer between the Arab women and the French women. I think it's very important. It's so great to see so many women, business women from uh, all over the world, and uh, women who are dealing business together and also to see friends. It's such a, a high caliber event, meeting people of such high level, ministers, ambassadors, such educated people, uh, very concerned in business, in trade and investment, and it's really a pleasure and a honor to be here. Actually, women have been at the center of science. All societies are concerned by uh, the biotechnologies and many laboratories are working on these uh, questions because there are many applications for the life of today for everybody. We make discoveries and then we transfer to industry and everything is produced by international uh, pharmaceutical industry. What is success for each of you? Because success, is it money? Is it happiness? Is it family? What, what is success for you? The idea for me of family business is very important and to work with women, it's a privilege for me. I've been mostly involved in uh, individual rights and when you talk individual rights, immediately you go to women's rights. The energy and commitment and determination I saw here makes me feel very optimistic. So we will assert ourselves and that will be very good for, I think, for the world generally speaking. Let me thank very warmly Christine Lagarde, Minister of Economy, Industry and Employment for being with us tonight. I also would like to extend my thanks to the Chancelier de l'Institut, Prince de Broil, who opened for us this magic, unique museum 
in Paris. What a better conclusion of a fairy tale. I do really hope there will be a new step for establishing an enlarged relationship and new partnerships between Arab and French business community. And the very good news is that Greater Paris is a global city in Europe that gains the highest confidence of the businessmen. Their choice, according to Paul, is due to the stability of the French bank system and of a diversified economy. Thank you for being here tonight, and I do hope you'll enjoy your stay and that you will soon come back to Paris. I have to confess something. I envy you. I've looked at your program, and I just wish I could have been with you the whole time and not just now to be the spokesperson. It's a mixture of exchange of views, um, sharing of information, uh, research in particular topics, get-together, networking, visiting nice places, and frankly, this is exactly what I need at this point in time. <laughs> so, I do envy you. I'm particularly delighted because I believe it's critical at this point in time that they be solid friendship and actual ties formed between Arab women and all of us in the French community, but particularly French women. I say, why is it that Islamic finance always goes to London, which is a lovely place, no problem with London, although at the moment it's quite happy being in Paris. I asked also uh, the Autorité des Marchés Financiers to also organize things in a better way so that Islamic finance can feel welcome uh, and, and uh, be prepared to look at Paris as an alternative. Using the word prosperity with you all is actually quite gratifying and pleasant and it certainly makes a change. Uh, we had a nice day with all these meetings, networking and all that. And then at the end of the day that we had the time to go and dress up and come for the gala dinner. It's a very uh, interesting and benefitable uh, when you meet people and you gain experience from meeting them, from understanding how do they work and from exchanging also and networking with them and they gain of our experience and we gain from theirs and that is the most important thing. It was actually great and of course in a, in a very beautiful city like Paris it's something fantastic. <laughs>